Hello everyone, it's April Garwood from Banana Moon Studio. I am starting today on a series of videos that will show you how to make one of my crochet patterns called Roland Poncho. It is a poncho design for girls in sizes 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Uh, it consists of a center panel that's lace, and then there's uh, two side panels that are solid stitching. So there's, there's a center lace panel on both the front and the back, and then there's side panels that go on either side of that, and then there is a, um, a ribbed kind of collar around the neck. And so I'm gonna go through various parts and show you how to make the different panels, how to put them together, and how to add the ribbing for the neck. So today we're gonna start by making, um, or by starting at least one of the lace panels. I'm not gonna have you sit here and watch for hours while I make both lace panels, but I'll show you how they're done. Uh, be sure to check in the description box. I'll have a link to where you can find the free pattern on my blog. There's also an option to purchase a PDF if you'd rather have that, uh, you know, because it won't have ads in it like my blog does. And there will also be a link in the description box for where you can subscribe to my newsletter. That's twice monthly. You get f two free patterns when you subscribe. And... That should be it. So I'm going to turn this camera around and start showing you how to make the lace panels for my Roland Poncho. My Roland Poncho is designed in Universal Yarn Uptown DK, which is a 100% acrylic yarn. And the nice thing about that is that it's going to be easy care, easy to wash and dry, which of course you want for children's clothing. And you can see a picture of the Roland Poncho right here. It's really cute. Um, the great thing about this Universal Yarn Uptown DK, besides the fact that it is machine wash and dry, it's also really nice and soft. It has a great feel to it. In fact, the first time I ever felt it, I was surprised to find that it was 100% acrylic. So it's a great yarn for this project. I am going to show you today how to begin one of the center panels, and you have to make two of these for this project. Um, the pattern actually has written to do the side panels first, but I feel like doing the center panels today, so we're going to do those first. As I work on this demonstration, I will be making a size 2 of the Roland Poncho, and my pattern tells me that I'm going to begin the center panel by chaining 26. Next, my pattern tells me that I am going to single crochet in the second chain for my hook. So I'll be skipping the first one, which is here, inserting my hook into the second one, and working a single crochet. Next, my pattern tells me to chain one, skip the next chain, and single crochet in the next. So I will skip this one and single crochet here. Next I will chain three, skip the next chain and single crochet in the next. So I'll skip this one and single crochet here. And then my pattern says to chain three, skip three chains, and repeat from the star, which tells me that after I skip those three chains, I'm going to place a single crochet stitch right here. And I'm going to keep alternating this back and forth, skip one chain or skip three chains, until I have two chains left at the end. So I will chain three, I just skipped three, so this time I'll skip only one. 
and stitch here. We'll chain three again. This, ooh, I don't want to yarn over there. This time I'm going to skip three chains, place a stitch here. Chain three. Now I'm going to skip one chain and place a stitch here. Chain three. I will skip three chains this time and place a stitch here. Chain three, skip one stitch, or skip one chain, excuse me, and place a stitch here. Chain three. Oh, never mind. So I have two chains left, and my pattern tells me that when I get to this point, I'm going to chain one, which I just did. Skip one chain and then single crochet in the last chain. Let's see, get in the right spot. There we go. All right. And that's the end of my first row. My stitch count at the end of my first row tells me that because I'm making a size two, I should have 10 stitches. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we're good there. I'm going to turn chain one and single crochet in the first stitch. Then I will double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, all in the next chain three space. So I'll be skipping this chain one space here. My next chain three space is here. So Let's see, I'm going to do this one, two, three, four. There are gonna be four double crochet stitches here and all of them will be separated by one chain. So I will double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And all of these stitches, chain one, are going inside this space made by the chain three. Double crochet, chain one, and this is my fourth double crochet. All right, and after working all that in the chain three space, it says working over next chain three space, single crochet in middle chain of three skipped chains of foundation row. So that's a little bit tricky. Working over this chain three space, I'm going to single crochet in the middle chain of the three skipped chains from my foundation chain. So I want to find the middle one of those. There's one here and one here and one here. So the middle one is here. I want to place my hook in that chain. This is the foundation chain down here, but by working over this chain three space and making this single crochet, I am trapping the chains for my first row inside of this single crochet stitch. Okay, so next I'm supposed to repeat from the star. So now I'm working on my repeat until I get to the last stitch and that last repeat is going to end at this double star. All right, so I'm going to go do my four double crochet separated by chains again in well let's let's make sure that I show you where we're going here 
Um, it's going to be in the next chain three space. This is the one that I just worked over and here's my next chain three space. So my double crochets are gonna go in there. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And now again, I'm going to work, going to work over this chain space and go into the middle chain that was skipped here in the foundation chain. There we go, and it's trapping the chain space from row one inside of this stitch. Now the next chain three space is here, so I'll be double crocheting here. Chain one. Double crochet. Chain one. Double crochet. Chain one. And double crochet. And then we're gonna go to this chain three space. And again, I'm gonna insert my hook in the middle chain of the three that I skipped of the foundation chain and single crochet. And then I'm gonna come to this chain three space and do my double crochet separated by chains again. Chain one, last double crochet. Now I'm coming to the end of my row, so I'm gonna look and see. Uh, the pattern says to finish my last repeat at this double star, which is where I am right now because I just finished all those double crochets. And so now I'm gonna come down here to the end and it says single crochet in the last stitch and turn. So my last there is a stitch right here. I'm actually going to skip it because the last stitch is over here. And I'm going to single crochet right there. And I will check my stitch count. I should have 21 stitches. Let's count here. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 stitches, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to turn and begin row three. It starts with a chain four. This chain four is going to count as though it were a double crochet stitch and a chain one. So that means when I go back and check my stitch count or when I work the next row, I'm going to act as though this were a double crochet and a chain one. I'm going to skip the first two stitches. That's this one and this one and single crochet in the next chain space. So that's here. Chain three. Skip two, two stitches and single crochet in the next chain space. So that's over here. Then I'm going to chain three, skip three stitches, which is one, two, and three, and repeat from the star. So that tells me I'm gonna single crochet in the next chain space, which is here. Chain three. Skip two stitches, one and two, and single crochet here. And I'm repeating that across. So chain three, skip three stitches, one, two, and three. Let's 
and then I'm going to chain three and skip two stitches, one and two, and single crochet here. My yarn just keeps rolling here and getting in the way. Alright, and chain three. Skip one, two, and three stitches, single crochet here, and one, two, three chains. Skip two stitches and single crochet here. And let's see, then if I come down to here, it says chain one, skip next stitch, and double crochet in the last stitch. So I'm going to skip this stitch and double crochet here. And my stitch count is 10. So remember that this um, turning chain is going to count as a stitch. So I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And you can see here what I've done is basically that for each of these little fans that I've made, I'm going to single crochet in these two chain spaces and then there are going to be chains in between those stitches. Okay, so that's how this is looking. Now I need to turn chain three and it says double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the first stitch. So all right here double crochet, chain one, double crochet all in the first stitch. Then working over next chain three space, so this is my next chain three space, working over that single crochet in middle chain space a fan underneath. That's this chain space down here. So I'm going to come down here and single crochet and I'm just going to be trapping that chain three inside of my stitch. I'm going to turn a little bit. The sunlight is working against me here. Okay. So let's see, I've done that. Now I'm going to double crochet Okay, so I'm doing the fan again, and I'm going to do that all in the next chain three space, which is here. So I'm going to do those four double crochets, each separated by uh, one chain. That's three. I need one more. And then I'm repeating this across. So now I'm going to single crochet down here in this chain space of the fan from two rows below. Okay. Oh my goodness, my yarn keeps rolling away. All right, so now I'm going to make another fan in this chain three space. One, two, three, four. And now I'll single crochet in here. And come to this chain three space and I'm going to make another fan.
And now I will single crochet down here. Now at this point I'm kind of coming to the end so I want to look and see. I want to check my instructions. Um, I told myself in this pattern that my last repeat was going to end after I did this single crochet in this chain space. And now I have here to skip the last chain space, which is this one. So remember that this counts as a double crochet in a chain space, so this chain right here is counting as that chain space I'm going to skip. Um, let's see, skip the last chain space, double crochet, chain one, two double crochet in the last stitch. So I'm going to come put my hook in this chain right here. Um, there are two chains on this side of it and one over here on this side of it. So that's where it's going to go. We're pretending it's the top of a stitch. Double crochet, chain one, two double crochet all right there. This is basically like half of a fan that's going in this stitch. As you can kind of see that we have like a half a fan here and a half a fan on this side and whole fans in the middle. Okay. And let's see what my pattern says for row five. If you are not from the south, you may be wondering, I don't know how much you can hear this kind of weird buzzing sound around me. Uh, those are cicadas that are in the trees. They're really noisy in the summertime in the south, and I'm in Oklahoma. So if you uh, were wondering what that weird noise is, those are cicadas. Anyway, all right, so now I'm going to turn. I'm going to chain one and single crochet in my first stitch right here. Then I'm going to chain one, skip the next stitch, and single crochet in the next chain space. So I'm going to skip this stitch, single crochet here, chain three, skip three stitches, that's one, two, and three, and single crochet in the next chain space right here. Then I'm going to chain three skip two stitches and I repeat from there. So it's going to be a single crochet here, chain three, skip three stitches, one, two, and three, single crochet in this chain space, chain three, skip two stitches and single crochet in this chain space, chain three, skip one, two, three stitches and single crochet in this chain space, chain three, skip two stitches and single crochet in this chain space, chain three, Skip one, two, three stitches and single crochet in this chain space. And we're coming to the end of a row, so I'm going to see what's next. Let's see, after. It says I'm going to repeat that to the last two stitches. So I have my last two stitches here. And now I'm going to chain one, skip the next stitch, and single crochet in the last one, which is actually going to be the top of my turning chain. All right, and I should have 10 stitches, so let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Turn, and now I'm working on row six. Chain one, single crochet in the first stitch. Now I'm going to double crochet, oh, so it's time for my fan again, because I've double crocheted, chain one, double crochet, chain one, all that. Um, that's going to be in the next chain three space. This is only a chain one space, so this is going to get skipped because my instructions say to make this fan in the next chain three space, so it's going to go here.
All right, there's my four stitches. And I think I already know what's gonna happen, but we'll check. Working over the next chain three space, single crochet in middle chain space of fan underneath. So this is just like we've done before. We're going to come to this, if you're looking at this fan, you can see that this is the middle chain space. I'm gonna go in here and trap that chain three above inside my single crochet stitch. At this point, this all should be looking pretty familiar to you. And the rest of this center lace panel is going to be repeating rows three through six of what we've just done. So from this point on, it's going to be easy because you've already done everything you need to be able to do to make this lace panel. There we go. Next chain three space. Okay, there's four. Now we're going to go down to this chain space single crochet, another fan right here, one more chain and one double crochet here and I'm coming to the end so I want to look and see what's next after I finish this fan I am going to single crochet in the very last stitch which is right here okay and then I turn and as I said from this point on I'm gonna do things that I've already done so it should be easy um, I'm going to be repeating rows three through six for the pattern. And to make the size two, I'll be making a total of 26 rows. Um, that number will vary depending on which size you're making. But basically, you're just going to be working in this pattern until you complete the center panel. And so if I'm going back to row three at this point, I can look at this and know that I'm going to start with chain four, which counts as a double crochet and a chain one. I'm going to skip the first two stitches and single crochet in the next chain space, which is here. And then I chain three, skip two stitches, single crochet here. All right, at this point, this lace panel should be easy. So I am going to um, finish on my own making the two lace panels that I need for this project. And next week I will be sharing a video about how to make the side panels for the Roland Poncho. And then in future videos we'll be putting the pieces together, we'll be adding the collar and the edging and putting it all together. So that's it for today. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. That's kind of like uh, leaving me a tip since I'm helping you out. And please comment with the things that you would like to learn in crochet videos and also share this video with your crocheting friends. Thanks so much. I hope you have a lovely day.